When Eddie Walsh and Constance Cassidy bought Lissadell House, there was concern that much of the Countess Markovic memorabilia had already been lost, but they were determined to buy back as much of it as possible, resulting now in a fascinating collection in the restored coach house at Lissadell. Over the last three years, we've literally trawled the country. We've been to every different auctioneer, every agent. We've made inquiries from anybody who might be a potential source. There's also been the series of auctions that have been held over the last couple of years, particularly with the 80th anniversary of the Rising. So we've been there trying to acquire as much as we can. We've been very, very fortunate. There's been some wonderful things that have been acquired. Probably the most important are the plans of the 1916 Rising prepared by Constance, where she writes in a copybook of Polish origin all of the points of offence, all of the points of defence for the 1916 Rising. The collection tells the life story of Constance right through from her childhood in Lissadell. It includes her Fianna Fáil membership card, poetry she wrote, sketches and paintings she did as a girl and as a prisoner in Holloway Jail. Her wedding veil is on display and two interesting paintings by her Polish husband, Casimir. I'm delighted with the picture of the Constance by Casimir, both as and when he meets her in around 1900 and then when he paints her just shortly before she dies in 1927. They show the remarkable transformation. Much of the extensive collection has never been seen in public before, but it's now open to visitors. Eileen Magner, RTE News, Lissadell, County Sligo.